So what we did here today is we're setting up some boards and the boards are going to be at various widths. This is going to show you an example of what will happen, what could happen when your broadhead meets a deer's shoulder blade. Why do we always talk about a shoulder blade? Because depending upon a deer, how it's standing, deer's anatomy, that shoulder blade dictates everything when you're bow hunting. If that deer's leg is back, that shoulder blade is covering a larger portion of the kill zone. If that deer's leg is forward, it's wide open and you're gonna put that arrow through that deer no matter what. It's coming right through the rib cage, you're gonna kill the deer. But let's see what happens when broadhead meets wood. Now this first one is gonna simulate a deer scapula. A deer scapula is kind of like that. It's flat on the top, and it's tapered, it almost looks like a triangle. So just imagine a deer scapula about this wide, coming down, tapering, there's gonna be a big knuckle in the middle of that scapula to where it meets the joint, to where it meets the humerus bone. For all intents and purposes, if you use a broadhead that can penetrate this, you're gonna be good to go to get that broadhead into the deer's chest cavity and cut the lungs is what you wanna do and cause massive hemorrhaging. So let's give this a shot first. Okay, our second example is gonna be a piece of cedar. Much thicker. It's a seasoned piece of wood, about an inch thick. So I said about a half an inch on the scapula. The scapula where it meets that seam, meets that ridge, is gonna be less than that. Now, like I said, this is a board. This is a board that's been meant, you know, it's been dried. It's hard. But on a deer, a scapula, again, living tissue attached to bone, different story. But this is a good example of what your broadhead can do once it encounters something as tough as a deer's scapula or shoulder bone. Imagine that as a hard scapula. That broadhead is penetrating that big time. I mean, that scapula is not even a third that width. I mean, it's maybe an eighth of an inch. It's super hard bone. But that's what you want to penetrate. You need a broad head that's gonna be able, number one, you need the weight. Weight is important. A 400 grain arrow or better is really, really good, especially somebody like me shooting 54 pounds. If you're shooting that low a weight, if you're shooting 70 pounds, you're gonna be able to blow through a deer with pretty much no matter what you're shooting. But if you're shooting those lower weights, anything 60 and below, highly recommend a fixed blade broad head. You can get by with an expandable, but go with an expandable that's designed for lower poundages. But that's the kind of penetration you want for whitetail hunting. That's gonna, uh, any bone that it encounters, it's gonna destroy, and especially it's gonna get into that chest cavity and cause massive hemorrhaging. You know, this is my favorite time of the day after work, I always shoot at least one arrow, sometimes two, sometimes three, sometimes a dozen or more, but at least one arrow just to keep myself sharp leading up to bow season. I'm gonna cheat 32 yards. But a lot of people have been asking, you know, what's the key to bow hunting as far as putting a deer down quickly? Well, it's about penetration with your arrow. The more you can penetrate, the better off you're going to be able to hemorrhage that deer because that's what bow hunting is all about. It's all about causing hemorrhaging to the deer, quick blood loss. And you do that through a couple things. You do that through obviously the weight, the draw weight of your bow. And you also do it through your arrow, your broadhead especially, we're going to talk about that later, but your arrow. So the thing about these skinny arrows, this is almost 10 grains an inch, this FMJ. This is the deep six. That's, it's 9.8-ish grains per inch. You're talking about a really chunky arrow that's skinny, if that makes any sense. And that's the key to putting that arrow through the deer. But it doesn't make a lot of noise coming out of my bow, which is important on those shots for me. 35 yards is about my distance, about my max that I'm gonna take on a deer. I can shoot farther than that on this practice range, but I'm not gonna do it on a deer. But just listen to this. Quiet, deadly, and accurate. That's what you want in your hunting arrow. 